Hey queens, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you're new and welcome to a, well actually, that was rude of me. First of all, happy Thursday. I hope everyone is okay. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're speaking to your friends, your loved ones, having a fantastic time, binge watching Netflix, eating all the dominoes, all of that stuff. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a speed build. Today we are back and we are doing a little starter home modern boy. Modern little starter home boy, that's what I was meant to say. I'm gonna put it out there now. I'm not the most fantastic builder. I cannot build suburban homes, so suburban, 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 suburban. I can't build suburban homes, so don't, I mean, I'll probably try and do one at some point, but I won't be expecting them anytime soon. You've got more chance of stepping in unicorn poo. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, I mean, I'm, me, I'm more of a modern person, mainly because I can't build suburban homes. And also, I mean, I think the main reason is because I can't roof. I can't roof for the love of me. I'm learning, I'm trying, so I will put one out there eventually. But for the time being, any build that I do is gonna be modern. I'm very sorry. I think I saw a picture of a cute little modern moment on Pinterest. I can't find it, but if I can find it post editing, then I will pop it up on screen now. But the exterior was designed or inspired anyway by a modern little boy that i saw on pinterest and then i was like you know what i'm gonna build that i'm gonna put it in the sims i'm gonna do it as a little starter home because i've never ever built on a budget before like whenever i play the sims like gameplay wise i always like plonk my sim down give them like 50 grand 50 simoleons and i'm like you know what hun you do you build whatever you like if you want to have 15 plants or worth 200 simoleons then by all means do it so I think at the beginning, I was like quite conscious of what I was placing in the build, but then I was like, oh. So like, I think you can see like in the beginning, I do put down that, um, like I think it's like 200 simoleons, like the plant from Dine Out. And then I'm like, oh, I can't actually have that. Like I'm not allowed it. So then I do replace it with like the one of the ones that is 30 simoleons. And I never actually realized how cheap they were. Like I've never actually considered like the pricing of items in The Sims. Like I'm, actually, I'm a Tory, I'm a Sims. Tory player I'd like cost is no object for me darling <laughs> so I, I I did have to make some sacrifices here and there but I'm actually I mean considering like I'm not a fantastic builder I am quite impressed with how it turned out um I mean like the it's, it's nothing to write home about is it it's just it's literally a cube with stuff in it so <laughs> I mean for a start at home for what I was trying to do and achieve I actually think it turned out okay I don't know. I mean, let, let me know what you think about it. It's up on the gallery. My uh, origin idea or like my gallery name is Venti Simmer. It's just literally my YouTube name. And there's no custom content used in this. I think actually I removed my custom content from my game when I was recording this video because sometimes it is actually just really nice and refreshing to remove all of the build CC you have and then just really appreciate the items that we do have in game. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, is, is, is that just me? I ain't sure. And then at least it's like more accessible to people as well. I mean, I don't know who would want this piece of junk in their game, but at least it's more accessible for you. And this was built prior to the patch update that we got yesterday on the, well, actually, yeah, it was yesterday, wasn't it? It was June the 3rd we got the patch. Um, so I couldn't actually place windows and stuff uh, and doors like where I wanted to. And I was actually really tempted to not build anything until the patch came out, but I am a pig for The Sims 4 and I just had to build. I couldn't, I couldn't, I can't resist. Do you know what I mean? Like I just, I've, I need luxury and luxury for me is Sims 4, do you know what I mean? So, I mean, it, I didn't actually, like it wasn't anything too difficult. Like I wasn't like, oh my God, I really want to play this door here. And I couldn't do it. I mean, it would have been nice to actually scoot the door over because you do have those column boys out front. So it would have been nice to scoot the door over and have it more like central so it wasn't as abstracting but i mean at the end of the day it's just it's just a life simulator game in it and if that's what like it's just it's nothing to it's nothing to worry about i don't even know what i'm talking about i don't even know happy pride month though guys it is pride month and i was actually born in pride month and i'm actually gay as well so i mean who would have thought who would have thought it was written in the stars wasn't it from day one but happy pride month i hope i mean with pride is like cancelled right like worldwide i know that like a lot of like the pride um what do you call them pride events pride parades all of, like i mean any pride event has like basically been cancelled this year which is really sad but for the greater good 
COVID-19, we've got to keep everyone safe, all of that stuff. So celebrate Pride in your own homes whenever you can. I do have a nice little like LGBT family cast video. I posted that on Twitter and you guys really, really liked that. So thank you for all of the love on that. Um, so I will actually, I'll pop out that little cast video because I did record it. I literally record everything I do in The Sims. So like literally everything, I record everything. If I'm if I'm on the game, I'm recording because I'm like, um, maybe I'll use this. Maybe it will come out fantastic. And it never does. I'm joking. I'm... <laughs> I feel very strange today. <laughs> I don't know if that's coming across in the video, but I feel like... I feel electric. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right thing to say. I feel like full of energy, do you know what I mean? Like I feel really antsy. I don't know what's going on. So my mind is all over the place and I can't seem to focus on one thing at once. So I'm really sorry if this is a difficult audio to listen to. But as I was saying, I'm going to try and calm down, but as I was saying, I did record like a nice little LGBT video the other day um, and made like a little uh, gay family. There's two gay dads and three children. And I've put them up on the gallery already if you want to have a look at them. Um, they are called the Ambroses. And I thought that was just really nice. Like, The, the Sims has always been very supportive, uh, very supportive, very supportive of LGBT people and especially in eco lifestyle as well. Like, there's a lot of gay families in there. I think there's like three. So, I mean, well done for The Sims team for supporting LGBT people always and forever. Well done for that. Can't thank you enough. And on the subject of eco lifestyle, it is my birthday. I don't know if I've said that already, but it's my birthday on Friday the 12th of June. Eco Lifestyle comes out tomorrow. And there's a little treat for myself, Delins. I am going to be buying it because I've said, I think I've said it many a time in this video today, but I, I do need the luxury. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I should really be putting that money away because your boy is still on furlough. So I'm not even getting my full monthly wage from my job. I'm on furlough until the end of June. I've been on furlough for like three months now. Have I exercised once? No. Have I been eating everything? Yes. I think like eventually when I see my work colleagues, they're going to be like, whoa. <laughs> they're going to be like, did you eat the old loin? <laughs> I really hope they don't say that. I mean, all of my clothes still fit, so that's a plus, right? That's that's how I... I mean, my clothes haven't really gotten tighter. There's one pair of jeans that I'm too scared to try on because they're, I mean, they're a little bit tight before lockdown. God, no, like, I'm not going to be able to get a toe in them. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, I digress. This, this part is where I run into some severe issues with the layout of the build. So you can see me doing like that nice little like patterny concrete slab with the slabs from Debug. And... I play tested this build for some reason and I'm really bloody glad that I did play test it. I didn't need to play test it because I didn't scoot anything into a corner. Like everything's pretty much like laid out. But I, I like wanted my sim to go inside and he was like, I can't get to the sofa. And I was like, oh, that means that the coffee table is like too close to the sofa. So I like delete the coffee table, scoot that about, I try everything. And then eventually I'm like, oh my God, it's because like the house, you can see like the house is built on a tiny foundation. And when the house is on a small enough foundation, you don't need stairs but you, you can still have the foundation. And I was like, oh my God, I've put it up too high. So then like, I try and like put it down and the Sims still like, no, sorry, hun, I can't get in. And I'm like, what's going on? And then I've realized, I eventually realized that it's the concrete slabs, even though they're a debug item and they're meant for the floor, for some reason your Sim can't walk on them. So all of that time and effort that I spent doing that lovely mosaic concrete floor pattern, it, it, it I have to delete it. But like, do you know, like on some, like out of the front of some homes, you've got like a pathway of gravel and on top of that, you've got like nice concrete slabs. I really wanted to have that, but it weren't letting me. And I know that I could have done it with um, like the actual like concrete um, from the floor tiling and stuff, but the concrete, like the debug ta slabs, the debug slabs have like curved edges. So it just makes it look a little bit nicer. I'm a bit of a snob. So I was like, sorry, I'm not doing it. So I deleted them and I just went with a basic floor pattern thing and also I, like, I, I don't know what happened but the house is meant to be 18,500 simoleons and for some reason it's 18,684 for some reason when you look at it on the gallery and it might be because I oh I know what it is when I deleted the coffee table I put extra items in and then put all of the items that I had back what a silly ghost I am Oh my god, I've just realised I feel like Sherlock Holmes like cracking that. Well, well done me. But anyway, <laughs> it is slightly over budget, but you can you can delete some of the stuff if you want. Like there's some bushes out, like I think one of those bushes outside are real and the rest are debug. Why I did that, I have no idea. I think my moral compass was like, Hanya cheating. 
<laughs> so I put one real bush out there and then the rest of like the bushes are fake and also the tree. So I mean do do what you like but I hope you like this build. I think for like I said for what I wanted to set out and do I achieved it so I'm proud of myself. I'm happy. Do you know what I mean? And I I did not do a tour of this build because I've, when I go into tab mode it gives me a really bad headache and I can't control it. And when I record in game as well my game gets super laggy so the footage that I get it ain't too great. So I've got some nice screenshots for you at the end. I imported myself into the game with a little DSLR camera. Is that even a camera type? I don't even know what I'm talking about guys like honestly I think I need a nap or something. I've been having a nap every day recently me and my cat at around around this time actually maybe that's why i'm feeling it a little bit me and my cat around this time will literally just sit down and have a nap for like an hour and then when i wake up i'm like oh my god i feel so great fantastic and then i wonder why i can't sleep at night but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video as always stay safe wash your hands eat all the food you can thank you very much for watching and i will see you on sunday with another speed build it's a little nightclub it's called the mirage nightclub i've spoken about it in like my previous video it's already up in the gallery if you want to have a little sneaky pre. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I ain't even got a clue what I'm talking about, guys. Sorry, Dylan's, but I'll leave you with the screenshots. <laughs> Peace out, home dogs. Love you guys. Bye.